Okay, hi there and welcome to a video looking at five key definitions that form part of the balance of payments. This is quite a technical area of the economics course. It's important to have your definitions in good shape. We'll look at five concepts, the trade balance, the current account, uh, financial flows, primary income and also secondary income. So the trade balance, first of all, measures the net value of trade between countries. Now, net means the balance between inflows and outflows. It's important in the exam to talk about the value of exports rather than just exports. So the trade balance measures for a country the value of exports, X minus the value of imports. Exports, of course, an injection into the circular flow, imports a leakage. Some countries have large trade surpluses for the UK. There's a net trade deficit. You can see here we're measuring trade balances as a share of GDP for each year. The trade balance in services for the UK has been rising. It's been going up over the long time, over the long term. Whereas the trade balance in goods has been worsening. Uh, the deficit has been increasing. Overall, a trade deficit for the UK. Now, the current account includes the trade balance. It's essentially whether a country is paying its way internationally in terms of its external transactions and the current account measures the difference between money and credit coming into a country and going out through exports imports and also the income paid on assets both home and overseas the current account is made up of four balances the balance of trade in goods shown here in yellow for the uk the balance of trade in services a surplus for the uk shown here in gray the primary income balance, which for the UK is now a deficit, we'll come back to that in a second, and also the secondary income balance, which for the UK is also a negative. Again, we'll come back to that in a moment or two. So this is the makeup of the current account for the UK, made up of trading goods, trading services, primary income and secondary income. Now, financial flows, these are important in the wider picture on the balance of payments and they are flows of capital that move across national borders including debt such as bonds corporate and government bonds and uh, buying and selling of equity and shares including foreign direct investment or fdi here's some data on fdi for the uk economy now fdi can either be inward coming in or outward going out inward fdi Investments made in a country from another country. Outward FDI, investments made by domestic companies, for example, UK businesses, in a foreign economy. And in 2017, the value of foreign, investment, foreign direct investment coming into the UK was £92 billion. That's quite substantially lower than it was in 2016. The stock of investment in the UK, overseas investment in the UK, is now £1.3 trillion. Significant figure. UK businesses investing overseas, they invested £91 billion in 2017 and we have about a £1.3 trillion stock of investment overseas. More or less matching, the stock of investment is more or less the same both in terms of foreign investment coming into the UK and UK investment going out. The balance presumably will be the difference in the returns on those investments. Uh, what's the quality of investments we make in overseas companies for example and will that generate a, a flow coming in of interest and profits and dividends our fourth concept today is the primary income account it's a key part of the current account and it measures the net flow of profits interest and dividends from the investments in other countries and also remittances from migrant workers in 2018, globally, there was an estimated 258 million international migrants. That's people residing in a country other than their country of birth. That's just under 3.5% of the world's population. For the UK, uh, there's quite a net outflow of remittances, particularly from workers who have come into the UK from the European Union, other countries inside the EU, and outside the EU, including, for example, India and the Philippines. This uh, table, this uh, news article from the BBC, hinting that uh, migrant families sent over eight billion pounds to support families in their home countries, according to the latest UN data. 
The balance of payments, of course, measures the value of remittances. But keep in mind that remittances can also be of a social nature, things that we can't necessarily measure in a tangible way. Identities, social capital, qualifications, knowledge, for example, that migrants might pick up and build during their residence in another part of, uh, in another country. That can be transmitted back to the country of origin. The final of our five definitions today is secondary income. That's again part of the current account. Secondary income measures the net flow, money coming in versus money going out, of things like overseas aid, uh, debt relief, and military grants, and so on and so forth. In the UK, uh, we have a commitment, a legally binding commitment, to spend 0.7% of our gross national income on overseas development assistance or aid. In 2016, that was just worth over 13.4 billion. That figure is now probably around 14 billion pounds. Uh, we've kept to our United Nations 0.7% target. For every 100 pounds that's made in the UK in terms of our GNI, 70 pence goes towards different types of foreign aid. And that would appear on the secondary income part of the balance of payments. So with balance of payments, it's quite important to know your definitions, get them in good shape, and you'll be uh, in a good position to answer well on data response and essay questions.